Hi guys, Jane here, and I am doing the booktube newbie tag today. Um, as everybody who's following my channel knows or sees, I'm really new to this. I'm about a month in maybe, and I'm still very much learning the ropes of how this works and how booktube works. And my channel's a little different because it is a booktube channel, but it's also a writing channel. And I'm I originally planned it to be mostly a writing channel, but I just, I really love booktube and I've been a part of the reader community for a long time. Like, um, I've had a book review blog for I think five years now. And, um, so I wanted to kind of be in the booktube community as well as just having a writing channel. And I didn't want to separate that because, you know, those things, they mesh okay. I, I hope. <laughs> so... Anyway, um, I wanted to introduce myself with this tag, and I can't wait. So I've got my little phone here, and I'm going to be looking at the questions and answering them. And I kind of glanced over these ahead of time, but these are not real planned things, so bear with me. Question number one, why did you start this channel? Well, um, it's kind of a funny story. I have been teaching creative writing classes for a while, and um, like not in a college setting, but um, in a in our writers group, and I love it, and I really am passionate about teaching. And I had kind of looked into maybe expanding my degree and becoming a teacher. Well, uh, like a college level teacher, or high school, that's not in the cards right now. I also looked at um, increasing my degree. In the medical field and doing some educational stuff um learning and development type stuff but right now again not in the cards i've got little kids so college would be a big challenge um it is something i'm looking into but it's not right around the corner and i definitely want to do some teaching in the interim um, my brother's a teacher and my dad was a teacher he, he's a retired teacher he's, so you know it runs in the family um so that's why I started it with the writing part. And then as far as the booktube went, I um, had already decided I was going to do a writing type one, but then I found booktube. Or I had already decided I was going to do a writing channel, then I found booktube, and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so fun, I should do this too, because I'm already doing the writing one, I'd already decided I was doing that. And I love reading, and I'm already doing a book review blog, so it wouldn't really make a difference to do some videos for it as well. That's kind of how I got here, is I wanted to initially teach the writing stuff, and then it bled into the book too. Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to book two? Um, I think there's a couple things. Number one, I'm a variety reader, which I don't see a ton of. Um, it seems like most of the people on book two are fairly specialized, whereas I don't have a lot that I won't read. Um... I read very widely and very, you know, kind of everywhere. My favorites right now are cozy mysteries and romance, but I love nonfiction and and I also bring a writing perspective to it. So I want to have the chance to evaluate the stories of, you know, different writers and, and be learning as I go and really critically look at things and say, this is good writing, this is bad writing, and this is how I can improve my writing. I mean... I just, I love books and I have so much passion because I'm a writer and I've been a writer for five years now. So, um, you know, I just, I feel like I do bring a lot to the community. Um, I'm still getting started. I'm still learning, but I'm so, so excited to be here. Okay. Number three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, I would say meeting everybody and connecting with other readers. Uh, I've already, from watching booktube, got so many suggestions for books um, to read. I have some friends who are readers, but a lot of the ways I would find books before was just to go to the library and see what looked good. Um, and that can be pretty hit or miss, or to find books by my favorite authors. But then I kind of kept reading, I don't want to say the same book over and over, but it kind of felt like it. It was like I wasn't reading a ton of stuff that was new. Whereas already with BookTube, I found a lot of interesting new books that I've got to try. So I'm so excited about that, and um, I think that is what I'm most excited about is all the new books that I will probably be reading because of BookTube and the things other people are reading that just look so good and so fun. 
Um, number four, why do you love reading? Okay, so I have always read. I just, it's what I do. I think it's that creative mind. I like to experience other things. I like to take the adventures and meet the new people. And it's a way out of a sometimes boring and rough existence. Um, I'm very fortunate. I have generally had jobs that allowed me to do some reading um, while I was doing other things. I, um, in the past, worked uh, doing filing, basically, and paperwork in the medical records department, and we were able to listen to audiobooks all day. So I was, you know, doing the, the paperwork that needed done and had an audiobook on. I also had an hour drive to get to work, so I would have, I was finishing like a couple audiobooks a week at that point, and some very big ones that I might not have finished otherwise. Um, now, I do it a lot to pass the time when my kids have activities going on, or when I'm driving, I do have audiobooks, and my kid's biological father lives out of state, so when we take the kids to visit him, um, or pick them up from his house, you know, it's a long drive and it's nice to have something to read. Um, also at my workplace, when we have downtime, um, I work third shift and I answer telephones and I do have paperwork, but sometimes the paperwork's done, the telephones aren't ringing, and I'm allowed to bring a book with me. So it's something that helps me pass the time at work. And I just, I love books. It's, it's just, I always have loved books. I can't imagine ever not loving books. And I just, yeah, I just love books. Number five, what book or series got you into reading? Okay, so I have no idea. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible answer, but I have literally been reading since as far back as I can remember. The first book I remember reading on my own were the illustrated classics, um, which are basically abridged versions of very very classic fairy tales or fairy tales or like things like King Arthur and Black Beauty classics. Um, I really distinctly remember in second grade, yes second grade, we had this thing where we were supposed to bring a book to school and we were also supposed to bring like a sleeping bag and snacks and we were having like a read-in and I brought the abridged version of Black Beauty. So I know I was reading a lot even then so I, that's like the first real memory of books I read. If there was stuff before that, I'm not sure, but I'm going to say the illustrated classics because there was probably stuff before, but I can't remember. Number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, that's a hard one. I'm still kind of learning the booktube community. I do have some favorite booktubers so far, but I think the biggest thing I would want to know is like, how has being on booktube changed the way you read? Has it been a positive thing? Do you feel like it's been good for you and you've found a great sense of community? Or has it been kind of rough because, you know, do you feel a little judged? It's really easy to sit in front of the camera and feel like people are judging you if you're still like learning or if you read books that are different than other people. And like, I'm a little worried about that. I'm a little worried about how do you keep up, especially if there's things like people reacting negatively to your reviews that aren't so great of their favorite books, or, you know, does it make the reading become like work instead of like fun? I, I think I would just like, how has booktubing changed you? All right, uh, number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Okay. So my answer to that is a couple things. My main one is technology. And I mean that in two ways. I mean, firstly, having more up-to-date technology, and secondly, um, using the technology that's available. Unfortunately, I am um, very poor. I'm just being honest. I am the only provider in my home, so we are very much on a budget. And I am literally recording this right now on my laptop camera. My cell phone also has a camera, but I tend to run out of memory on my cell phone. Um, I don't have a microphone, as you can probably tell. I'm using the microphone on my computer. And when I do edits, I'm using Windows uh, Media 
movie, Windows Movie Maker. So there's a lot of things I don't, I don't have access to right now unless it's basically free. And I think that that's probably not going to change for a while. Um, I know already I'm a little slow building my channel. I think part of that is, you know, I, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look terrible. I mean, you can see me, but it definitely could be better. And I recognize that, but I don't have the ability to afford new tech right now. And I don't know if they're, I don't have the knowledge to know, okay, I can get this program and do this and that. I'm still very much learning that. And I'm hoping that comes with time. Right now, I'm just trying to learn how to become comfortable in front of the camera and to kind of get my thoughts and put them through. Um, another thing that's a bit of an issue is just space. Um, I live in a mobile home and we don't have a lot of space. I do have a bookshelf, but currently in front of the bookshelf is my boyfriend's weight, <laughs> weight bench, which is currently piled with like clean laundry baskets and toys that need to be put in the shed. And I mean, I don't even have a, no a, a bookshelf I can sit in front of right now. Um, and we just, we don't have a lot of space. And then when I did try to record at home recently, it was very dark. Like lighting was a huge issue. And even though I had all the lights on and I even had a um, little ring light, a selfie light, I still like, it was so dark. So I've had to be coming to the library to record. And I feel like this is kind of a boring background, but it's what I have right now. So I think that's the biggest challenge to overcome starting uh, is the learning in the tech. Number eight, when did you start reading? My mom says I started when I was three. I'm going to go with that because I have no idea <laughs> if, if there's another answer. Uh, she basically said at three, I taught myself how to read and that was that. Uh, number nine, where do you read? Everywhere. Number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, everything. I shouldn't say everything. So I think the thing with me is I really enjoy character driven stories, but I also want there to be some plot and you know, a cool setting is nice. I, I'm not one of those people who just wants to hang out with cool characters, but nothing really happens. But at the same time, you know, I'm not big into plot stories where I can't ever get close to a character. And I'm also not really interested in stories where it's all about the neat setting, but there's not anybody whose name I recognize. Um, so I've had some challenges with things like I didn't enjoy the Lord of the Rings books. I had to listen to the, um, the Lord of the Rings on audiobook because I had a hard time following it. I got bored and it just was very difficult of a read for me. Um, so stuff like that I, I don't really enjoy. But overall, I do feel like I read a variety of things. Um, as you watch my channel, you'll see reviews kind of all over the place. Nonfiction, fiction, lots of romance, lots of cozy mysteries, some fantasy, but just kind of across the board. So those are the BookTube newbie tags. Um, I guess they were created by Brenda C. I'm not sure who that is, but if I find her... Um, her video at some point in the future, or if you know her video, could you comment below so that I can connect it to this so that people know where this came from. But yeah, this is exciting. I'm hoping to do more tags as I learn more about BookTube. And like I said, I'm very much learning, very much trying to get into this, but I am excited to be here. If nothing else, you got enthusiasm. So it's been fun, guys. I hope that's helped you know me a little bit better. And I look forward to, to talking to you again and to hearing from you and um yeah comment below if you have anything to say or have any questions about me and you can like and subscribe below too all right guys thanks bye